Hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is Bernice from Sure Simply Her. Uh, hello, all of my ladies and gents. Um, and that would go for the new subscribers and the old ones. If it's your first time here, welcome. And if it's your second time here, welcome. Well, today we're going to be reading the Bible. And my Bible is laid right here in front of me. And we're going to start at Proverbs chapter 11. We're doing catch up. I know today is the 14th. So I'm going to read through today until we get to the chapter 14. So let's say our prayer. Our Father, thank you for this word that you are about to partake upon us. Lord, thank you for all the discernment. Thank you for all the knowledge. Thank you for everything. Thing that you've done for us, given us, and Lord, please open our mind up to this word and allow it to permeate in our souls and allow us to be able to discern from your word, Lord. And we ask all, these, all of this in your son Jesus' name. Amen. So, amen, guys. Let's get at it. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. So, while I'm sitting here talking to you guys, um, hold on, I'm going to look and see. <laughs> I need some of this. Okay. Because I ain't put on no makeup, I ain't doing nothing but barely wash my face. I'm just getting up this morning. I know. Exhausting, right? And it's 11 something. So I'm trying to stay focused. Okay. So chapter 11. Verse 1. Dishonest skills are an abomination to the Lord. But a just weight is his delight. When pride comes, then comes shame. But with the humble is wisdom. The integrity of the upright will guide them. But the poverty of the unfaithful will destroy them. Riches do not profit in the day of wrath. Wrath. <laughs> wrath. Oh, I can't say that. Wrath. Wrath. In the day of wrath. But righteousness delivers from death. The righteousness of the blameless will direct his way aright. But the wicked will fall by his own wickedness. The righteousness of the upright will deliver them. But the unfaithful will be caught by their lust. When a wicked man dies, his expectations will perish. And the hope of the unjust perishes. The righteous is delivered from trouble. And it comes to the wicked instead. The hypocrite with his mouth destroys his neighbor. But through knowledge, the righteous will be delivered. When it goes well with the righteous, the city rejoices. And when the wicked perishes, there is jubilation. But the blessings of the upright, the city is exalted. Hold on. But it's overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. He, he who is devoid of wisdom despises his neighbor. But a man of understanding... Holds his peace. A talebearer reveals secrets, but he who is of a faithful spirit conceals a matter. We just fell over. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so I just had to move you over a little bit, move you around, and I'm gonna just turn myself just a little bit. Okay, so we stopped at. 11, 11. By the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted, but it is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. He who is devoid of wisdom despises his neighbor, but a man of understanding holds his peace. A tale, a tale bearer reveals secrets, but he who is faithful spirit conceals a matter. Where there is counsel, the people fall, but in the midst of counselors, there is safety. He, he who is surety for a stranger will suffer, but 
One who hates being surety is secure. A gracious woman retains honor, but ruthless men retain riches. The merciful man does good for his own soul, but he who is cru cruel troubles his own flesh. The wicked man does deceptive work, but he who sows righteousness will have a sure reward. As a righteousness leads to life, as righteousness leads to life, so he who pursues evil pursues it to his own death. Wow, wow, right, right, right. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Those who are of a perverse heart are an abomination to the Lord. But the blameless in their way are his delight. Therefore, no, blameless in his way are his delight. Through they join, though they join forces, the wicked will not go unpunished, but the posterity of the righteous will be delivered. As a ring of gold in a swine's snout, so is a lovely woman who lacks discretion. The desire of the righteous is only good, but the exception of the wicked is wrath. There is one who scatters, yet increases more, and there is one who withholds more than is right. But it leads to poverty. The generous soul will be made rich, and he who waters will also be watered himself. The people will curse him who withholds grain, but blessings will be on the head of him who sells it. He who earnestly seeks good fine favor, but troubles but troubles will come to him who seeks evil. He who trusts in his riches will fail will fall, but the righteous will flourish like foliage. He who troubles his own house will inherit the wind and the fool will be ser servant to the wise of heart. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he who wins souls is wise. If the righteous will be recompensed on the earth, how much more the ungodly and the sinners. Chapter 12, Proverbs chapter 12, 1. Whoever loves instruction loves knowledge, but he who hates correction is stupid. A good man obtains favor from the Lord, but a man of wicked intentions he will condemn. A man is not established by wickedness, but the root of righteousness cannot be moved. An excellent wife is the crown of her husband, but she who causes shame is like rottenness in his bones. The thought of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceitful. The words of the wicked are lie and wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright will deliver them. The wicked are overthrown and are no more, but the house of the righteous will stand. A man will be condemned according to his wisdom, but he who is is of a perverse heart will be despised. Better is the one who is slight, slighted but has a servant than he who honors himself but lacks bread. A righteous man rewards the life of his animal, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. He who tills his land will be satisfied with bread, but he who folds Frivolity is devoid of understanding. The wicked covets the catch of evil men, but the root of the righteous yields fruit. The wicked is ensnared by the transgression of his lips, but the righteous will come through trouble. A man will be satisfied with good by the fruit of his mouth, and the recompense of a man's hands will be rendered to him. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he who heeds counsel is wise. 
A fool's wrath is known at once, but a prudent man covers shame. He who speaks truth declares righteousness, but a fault witness deceit. There is one who speaks like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue of the wise promotes help. The truthful lip shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. Deceit is in the heart of those who devise evil, but counselors of peace have joy. No grave trouble will overtake the righteous, but the wicked shall be filled with evil. Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but those who deal truthfully are his delight. A prudent, a prudent man conceals knowledge, but the heart of the fool proclaims foolishness. The hand of the delight will rule, but the lazy man will be put to forced labor. Anxiety in the heart of man causes depression, but a good word makes it glad. The righteous should choose his friends carefully, but the way of the wicked leads them astray. The lazy man does not roast what he took in hunting, but delights in man's precious possessions. In the way of righteousness is life, and in its path there is no death. Chapter 13. A wise son heeds his father's instructions, but a scoffer does not listen to rebuke. A man shall eat well by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of the unfaithful feeds on violence. He who guards his mouth preserves his life, but he who opens, his, opens wide his lips shall have destruction. The soul of a lazy man desires and has nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made rich. A righteous man hates lying, but a wicked man is loathsome and comes to shame. Righteousness guards him whose way is blameless, but wickedness overthrows the sinner. There is one who makes himself rich, yet has nothing, and one who makes himself poor, yet has great riches. The ransom of a man's life is his riches, but the poor does not hear rebuke. The right of the righteous rejoices, but the lamp of the wicked will be poured out. By pride comes nothing but strife, but with the will advised is wisdom. Wealth gained by dishonesty will be diminished, but he who gathers by labor will increase. Hopeful deferreds make the heart sick, but when the desire has come, it's the tree of life. He who despises the word will be destroyed, but he who fears the commandments will be forward. I was going to say, did I stop? Sorry, y'all. Okay. I'm going to start with 13 again. Um, this is 13, 13. Who, who de he who despises the word will be destroyed, but he who fears the commandment will be rewarded. The law of the wise is a foundation of life to turn one away from the snares of death. Good understanding gains favor, but the way of the unfaithful is hard. Every prudent man acts with knowledge, but a fool lays open his folly. A wicked messenger falls into trouble, but a faithful ambassador brings health. Poverty and shame will come to him who detains correction, disdains correction, but he who regards a rebuke will be honored. A desire accomplished is sweet to the soul, but it is an abomination to fools to depart from evil. He who walks with wise men will be wise, but the companion of fools will be destroyed. Evil pursuers sinners, but the righteous good shall be repaid. 
A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children, but the wealth of the sinner is stored up for the righteous. Much food is in the fallow ground of the poor, and for the lack of justice there is waste. He who spares his rod hates his son, but he who loves his loves him disciplines him promptly. The righteous eats to the satisfying of his soul, but the stomach of the wicked shall be in want. And amen. We are up to date. Okay, Lord. So let's uh, go back. And we're going to do a few questions. So we started at chapter 11. We did 11, 12, and 13. Um, some of the things that I got that I um, that I have here um, is 11 2 when pride comes then comes shame but with the humble is wisdom it's a very good very good uh key to go by when it comes to understanding the Lord. Don't let pride take over anything that you do. Make sure that you use wisdom to keep yourself humble. Y'all see that little light piece right here? I don't know why my nose and face is all ball. To me it is. But it's getting better I guess. <laughs> Okay, so the next one is, <coughs> excuse me, Lord. The next one is 11, 8. The righteous is delivered from trouble and it comes to the wicked instead. So the more true and honest you are, you know, God will deliver you from troubles or what we call issues or troubles. And the wicked, unfortunately, they go right to the wicked. <laughs> um, that's just my understanding. And this is for 11, 8. The righteous did, did, is delivered from trouble and it comes to the wicked instead. Another one I have underlined is 13, 11, 13. A talebearer reveals secrets, but he who is of the faithful spirit conceals a matter. So, don't tell secrets. Keep your secrets to yourself. If someone asks you to keep something secret, you can keep it between you and God, but um, you shouldn't be telling it. Um... Let's see, number 14, 11, 14. Where there is no control, the people fall, but in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. So, you shouldn't go to a person with your problems that has never experienced your problems. I don't know if that sounds right. Let's say, where there is no, con there is no counsel, which is other people, now, you know how we go to people for information? Um, we should go to the word instead of people because God is going to bring about the safety. Okay, and then let's see. Number 1116. I have that underlined in my Bible. A gracious woman retains honor but ruthless men retain riches. So be a gracious woman and just retain the honor of God and walk in the way of the Lord. And you should be void of these ruthless men who retain riches. Because just because somebody thinks they're rich don't necessarily mean they're rich. Because riches isn't just about money. It's about all the spiritual aspects, which is mental, physical, and spiritual. So when people really are saying they're rich, they're rich with health, wealth, 
and love. That's it. Um. Okay. The generous soul, this is 1125. The generous soul will be made rich. And he who waters will also be watered himself. So as long as you're doing good for others, this is what I'm taking away. As long as you're doing good for others, then you're kind of watering. If they were a flower, you're watering them and you're watering yourself because you're doing a good deed. Okay, and then we're going to go to... He who, number 27, I think that is. I don't have on my glasses, y'all. If y'all didn't know, my glasses broke. So I have to look down and look at stuff a little bit closer to see the words and all of that. And that's what's going on. But he who earnestly seeks good, good finds favor. But trouble will come to him who seeks evil. So when you do good, you find good. And when you seek evil, you gain evil. That's kind of all I can say about that. Um, I try to do good at all times, so not that I'm no better than anyone. I make a ton of mistakes. I call, oh my goodness. And I don't even call my troubles and my issues mistakes. I just call it stepping stones. Just another thing I got to deal with, right? So, okay, gosh. Guys, if you have any questions or anything or want to know anything else, just um, put them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. But for the most part, we are on this journey together. And thank you for coming to my channel. So let's close up with prayer. Our Father, thank you for this word. Thank you for this wisdom. Thank you for this time. Thank you for the knowledge. Thank you for the information that you have placed upon our hearts. And we thank you for the rest of this day, the days that's to come, the days that have come. We just thank you, Lord. We thank you for everything. And import more importantly, we thank you for this information and knowledge that we received today. And we ask all of this in your son Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys. So we have finished 11, 12, 13. If there's any questions, put them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. For the most part, I apologize for doing this so late in the morning, in the afternoon rather. And I look forward to you guys coming back. And woohoo, we are now on chapter 14. So we are almost through the book of Proverbs. And today is the 14th. So tomorrow will be, I'll be putting this video up tonight. And we'll just continue on until we get to the 31st. So we are halfway there. And then we'll go and find something else to read in the Bible, right? Right. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks for coming to my channel. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to share. And we ask, what? All of this in Jesus' name, right? Right, right. We're on the same page. We're on the same page. Well, have a blessed day, guys. Love you all. Peace.